Hello, everyone. This is the adventure of Sheep and Sheep Seeking the Way for Furry Feature. That title only appears briefly and is barely readable. Also known as the adventure of Sheep and Sheep on Steam, but I guess it's the adventure of Sheep and Sheep Seeking the Way. What way? I don't know. Let's ask you Ugandan Ugand Knuckles, I suppose. Um, but this is a really weird sheep game that we're going to be playing for Furry Feature. It doesn't look good, but that's why it caught my attention. Uh, it is in Chinese. It is bizarre. It being in Chinese makes it more bizarre. Uh, there, I just realized, <laughs> could you try to translate whatever's on that red pole, Krasovs? Krasovs is here. He's going to be my translator, yes. dude. <laughs> in the red pole? Oh, my God. I don't even yeah, know if you can get that to can. parse. But, yeah. I mean, yeah. And we also have Esler here because Sheep Game. Man. This one's a really, really freaking weird one. It does have English here and there. So we could probably... I think the NPCs could still be understood and stuff. But, uh, yeah, all I know is that we're going to use Wax to walk around, eat and interact with people, H for night vision, because, of course, sheep have that. And, yeah. uh, and we can jump a lot, apparently, infinitely, I, I think. I, I don't really understand what the hell we're getting ourselves into, but let's find out. Uh, of course, before we begin, if you like the video... Do think about giving a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, you can think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, think about coming over to Twitch. We're trying to reach partner, but of course, need more viewers to do it. So if you want to come by with an alert or talk, think about doing so because it does help out and it's honestly nice to see new people. We also have a pretty hey. cool Discord community if you want to check that out. I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content and I have a merch store if you want to buy some cool stuff. Links in the description. You can check them out whenever you want to. Yeah. But uh, yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> this is our tutorial. Controls information. We've already translated this, so I kind of get what's going on. But let's just start the game and figure out what what even. I don't even know what we're doing in this game. It was so bizarre from its Steam page list, and I literally have no idea what it's going to be doing. We're we're seeking the way, though. So you know, let's seek the way. How do I start? Okay, that's. Oh my god. Oh my. This is a. Are we a goat? <laughs> oh my. I think you're going to do it. The game specifically said you play as a sheep. <laughs> Apparently the developer thinks sheep and goats are interchangeable. I think it, this is why goats are bad. I you think can't I, tell the difference sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I think it, I think the adventures are she of sheep and sheep you should be like a goat and a sheep, but So you wanna know the greatest the best the best thing? See the mouse on my screen? This is a game where I use mouse to look around, but the mouse doesn't lock to the monitor, so I can totally click my other screen. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, well, I mean, I, it's I, either I, it's either we're a goat or we're a really weirdly shaped sheep. Because goats and sheep do have similar features, it's just their body shape is different, generally. Um, they goat the, goat the wrong animal. There are sheep here, though. Let's talk to this one. Hello. I love how the ghost has animation only for walking forward, but they they get the slides. So we have a guide here. He says, "Hello, welcome to the gaming world. Thank you, Black Sheep. I'm glad to be in the gaming world." Oh my God. Do I have? To, oh, I have. Do I? So I hit. Wait, E to interact. Then I have to mouse down to here while the camera messes up. Yeah, I do. This is an open 3D world. <laughs> nice. I did. I didn't notice. Literally, I have to, like, spin the camera to click the button at the bottom of the dialog box. I can't press E to advance it. You need to find the right path through your strong mind. <laughs> okay? Your strong mind, Harry. And you we need to find our way mind. home. We need to find our way home through exploration and puzzle solving. I like how meta this guide sheep is. And we need to find our way home through... Oh, is you're just going to keep talking? Oh, okay, no, you just repeated the same line twice for no reason. Different pillars in front represent different levels. Oh, that's what those are. I like how you have to from. moon the sheep in order to get them to say something new. <laughs> also, if you look straight down, we can see through the goat's tail. Just observation. Good luck and have a good time. Thanks, a guide sheep. Do you have anything else to say? No, just the same stuff. Yeah, he literally just repeats the same line twice. <laughs> this game is so poorly made, but in the best of ways. I'm already happy. Whatever the fuck is going on, I'm already happy. <laughs> so, what, what, let's see about this night vision. Oh. <laughs> Goat has flashlight. Sort of. It's green flashlight, though, so night vision. And we can jump forever. Yes, we can. 
I like how when I look straight down, it's like, damn, junk in the trunk. Because <laughs> it's camera angle. They just like the junk in the trunk camera angle. Thank you for that, devs. Now, they have night vision, but you don't. You're just a camera. Oh, mm -hmm. fair. Okay, well, there's only one level, I think, but I'm going to explore to see if I'm right. And by explore, I mean I'm going to jump in the air to look at the whole environment. Yeah, this is this is not. There's so much here. All right, let's go to the level. Wait, hold on. Yeah, let's go to the level. I saw something of interest. I think that's the only thing interesting. So, what if we're supposed to be a ram, but they only had a goat model? Maybe they're like, well, that's a, this is ram like here. Okay, this level has a name, but we can't probably translate the. Oh my god, the frame rate. I mean, I'm not even surprised there's no... <laughs> I'm not even surprised to go into a level... Look, oh my god, like, consider the... Look at the environment change here. And these trees, by the way, are going like there's a grade 5 tornado going on. I presume the frame rate is horrible. I apologize. I feel like that's okay, though. I feel like that, that won't really affect our experience. I'll explain. I'll explain... So basically, we went from really low poly environment to Unreal Engine grass and foliage physics everywhere. <laughs> this is like not even the same game look. All right. Um, so we got a bunch of boulders everywhere. The grass is going nuts. The trees are literally. Can you guys even tell? Can you guys tell? Is there enough frames to tell what these trees are doing? What is happening? <laughs> like what? What are you getting frame rate wise? I'm They're curious. They're fast. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they just be vibing, but they dancing. They what just... what frames are you getting though? Can I get? Can somebody give me an FPS guess a bit? Okay, let me see. A few uh, of them. Yeah, we, so I I'm playing at maybe like even a, several. Yeah, yeah like a, a, it's running at 15 FPS. Yeah, good enough. Well, that's FPS. good enough to watch. What the hell? Why is there a why is there a cube here? The cube, a cube just appeared. Oh, 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 it moves when I move. It moves when I move, guys. Huh. All right. It's just out for a stroll. Gotcha. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, let's talk to red and brown sheep here. Hello, red and brown sheep. How you doing? Red sheep. Are you looking for anything? Frames? <laughs> Oh, wait, the, the, the title... Yeah, that is completely a go. Look at this. We got a front shot now. Uh, it still says Red Sheep, but I think it's us talking. I am looking for my way home. Red Sheep says, uh, There are many houses directly in front of me. Is that what's past the gate? Okay, I'll take a look now. I need to go home. Oh, maybe your home is one of these random bu buildings. Okay, well, I guess I'm supposed to go through the gate. I assume... I mean, the gate looks kind of... Oh, wait, there's another sheep here. Hold on, don't worry. Let's I would they... not assume anything here. <laughs> okay, here we have... Red-eared, yellow, and lime sheep. <laughs> that also oh, has black face. You need to find a red sheep first to understand the situation. I did, I did, Mr. Weird Colored Sheep. That makes no sense. Welcome to Yankun. Thank you. <laughs> Are you a good sheep or a bad sheep? Hmm. What do you guys think? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I actually get a choice. Uh, I shall pick bad sheep. Oh, really? Welcome to Yankun. <laughs> Thanks. I think I see those. <laughs> Going to the right has a surprise. You need to find a red sheep first under such situa situation. Okay, thanks. Going oh to the God. right has a surprise. Okay, the dialogue is like broken as hell. <laughs> Are you a bad sheep or a good sheep? <laughs> bad sheep. Oh, really? Oh, I don't have to click the arrow. Looks like I can just click the screen. Okay, I don't- I don't know if he even cares what I answer. Let's see. I'm a good sheep. 
Oh, Which of you a pleasant time plane? <laughs> okay, I got a different response. <laughs> Try to walk to the right as much as possible. That's a really weird statement, but all right. Also, I'd like to know the cube is still, like, following my movements. Uh, this place is flooded for some reason. There's water that occasionally pops up. If you guys have 15 FPS, I, I guess you could see the water. <laughs> I guess that means, like, here... I guess it's like a giant maze, and he's saying, oh, I should go to the right. I still don't know why there's a cube following me, but it's fine. It just is. The lighting is wonderful. Are they supposed to be house- are they supposed to be fucking houses? Good. I also stack warehouse no, crates and call it a house. They're homes. Oh my bad. There's really no reason I shouldn't just infinite jump on top of this to see where the hell we're going. <laughs> Why is there, like, spirit lights in the- okay, okay, whatever. I have- what am I supposed- look at this fucking mess! Where am I- oh my god, I fell down. <gasps> I ran out of infinite jumps, but I got back. I ran out of infinite jumps. Yeah, only this game would run out of infinite jumps. You tripped jumps. in the air. Okay. I love how you... Everyone would know what game... Like, if they know the game, they, they would just... Every screenshot of the game is just like a goat butt. <laughs> it's goat butt the game, yeah. <laughs> They said stay to go to the right as much as possible, so I'm just gonna hug the right wall and hope we find the exit out of this horrendous place. <laughs> I don't know where we're going and the light's so bad. Bah. If it a jumping it makes this a little more tolerable though, because I don't have to like navigate. Okay, why is there why is there a fucking kookabara? <laughs> Alright, whatever. Why not? Very distinct bird sounds happening. There's like a roof to the area, I guess. Is this does this count as a roof? I, I don't I don't know what this counts as. What a fucking Sorry, I'm I'm just here for the NPCs at this point. I need to find the next one. Remember, I'm solving a puzzle, guys. My fucking shadow down there. I'm, by the way, I'm not going to try to actively explore for things. This is my movement speed. Oh wait, I have a flashlight. Or night vision, right. Oh, I think I found the- I think I found something. Here. You just had to get through the flooded box hell maze. Alright. And then we get to whatever this is. Oh, hello, sheep. Hee <laughs> hee, I've been waiting for a long time. <laughs> okay, multicolor sheep, what have you been waiting for? You have successfully found your first house. Oh, nice! You can lead to the next world through the guidepost at the back of the house. But I got home. Why do I need to leave? This is how you buy a house in sheep society. Okay, you want to try to translate this? I'm going to face it such that... Okay, there's like... What is this even... There's, there's like text every direction. I don't really understand. Here, try translating specifically that text up there that I put behind... I put it behind blackness. Maybe you can translate it now. Uh Okay. Those two symbols to the left of my mouse. <laughs> so those two symbols are... Wait, is this a coin? Yep. Guidelines. What's that? Guidelines. Guidelines. Okay, well... Wait, do they all say that? I guess they do? Yeah, I guess so. Guidelines. Well, let's go to the guidelines. Let's read the let's read the guidelines in terms of service of this game. Then, oh, we got frames again because this environment decided to not be Unreal Engine box hell. Hello, pure, pure yellow sheep. Why do I hear a Geiger counter? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, yellow sheep. My apologies. What I meant is Mongolian gazelle. Obviously, that, that that's what you are. Congratulations on passing the first level. Thanks. How about you take a look at the forest ahead? Yeah, I hear the Geiger counter. It must be radioactive. Mongolian gazelle! Excuse me? <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I'm what? <laughs> Mongolian gazelle! That is not a gazelle. Um, I like how it's very specific, too. Mongolian gazelle, not just any gazelle. 
Oh, I think that sound is supposed to be like the forest through the trees. Um, no, because they put a piece of paper above the forest. Mm -hmm. A really, really big one. I think those are supposed to be cricket sounds, but those are certainly not crickets. Oh, what? Sounds like a percussive sound, actually, like maybe of some sort of percussive wood block thing or something. I don't know. All right, well, I guess let's enter the night, the forest I need night vision for. Or, yeah, let's see. Uh, oh, yes, the mushroom forest. Lovely. This game is so, like, what the hell is going on? By the way, there are actually, I've, I've noticed something, because I actually have, if it isn't obvious, I have acts, I, I have on my store, I have, I've selected on my store to not only see English games, but also Korean, Japanese, uh, Chinese, and I think a few other languages. Um, and let me tell you, low-budget Chinese games are not like low-budget English games. They, they are such, all of them seem absolutely bizarre. This is a taste of one such example. <laughs> It seems when you got a Chinese indie developer, they're just actually kind of insane in what they make, <laughs> which is really quite interesting. To be fair, have you seen Egg Likes? I think I know of them. I don't know much about them, though, admittedly. This does not approach the, the levels of both lazy and weird of an egg-like. Yeah, that makes well, it lazy so, and weird is what I was kind of talking about, though. Uh, but it's kind of bizarre in that they put a lot of effort into being lazy. Yeah, right? That's what I get with this game, too. I feel like there's effort here with the laziness. If That, does, that doesn't make any sense, though, but it does. Like it's lazy, but like the vision of the of the creator still shines through. So it's not just utterly generic. It's like, what the hell is going on? Why am I a night vision goat in the in the forest where the crickets are being replaced by woodblock sounds? Like, what what is going on here? Yeah, like they clearly went out of their way to make it look worse. I think I found another house. Is this my is this my other house? Oh yeah, hello. Is that the Mongolian gazelle? I can't quite tell with this lighting. Hello. <laughs> Yep, it's Mongolian Gazelle. After your hard work, finally home. I was already home. You succeeded. Nice. Now I own two houses. I'm just going to become a real estate agent at this point. I succeeded. Cool. Uh, now what? <laughs> Do I go and inside? That's what most sheep end up doing for their careers. Wait, my house doesn't have a door. <laughs> oh, never mind. It does have a door. I cannot enter my house. I may have succeeded, but this was not the end of the level. Or... There's more, right? <laughs> like, I'm just pausing for a second, thinking about it. Like, there's more to this game than just... Fighting the house twice and having the sheep congratulate me, right? Or, sorry, Magolian Gazelle. Uh, gotta find another teleporter. Well, I'd expect there to be more. Wait, there seems to be something over there. Hold on. Maybe. I don't know. Might just be the end of the world. I mean, I, things are popping in. I figure I'll take a look. Yeah, this is our movement speed, by the way. I'd like to note. I may have infinite jump, but it doesn't help me gain momentum, so. Oh, that's, the, love that's the entrance. It's okay. Yeah, also, I love how there is footsteps on even when you're flying around. If you look at my shadow, I'm also walking very nicely in the air. <laughs> okay, so. I'm just like wondering to myself, is that the end of the game or is there more? <laughs> like, I, with this game, I feel like I, I really can't fairly guess. <laughs> As you said earlier, I can't really see with this game. <laughs> so did we win or is there more? <laughs> like, actually, here's a, th here's a thought. Somebody look at the Steam page for this game and tell me. 
Does it have any other level screenshots? Because, I mean, like, the last level, we got a house, but then it's like, all right, keep going. And then this level, it's like, hooray, you got another house. Do I, do I keep going now? It's also a clear exit to the forest. I wonder, maybe I should just go this way. I mean, I can explore the forest more. It's just going to take a while. Give me a second. I mean, if you want to risk it, you can probably... <laughs> I'm going to its page. <laughs> I'm going to its page to see if they have any other maps. Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, like, that might be it. That might be it looking at the screenshots. Let me look at, let me read the description. Let me read the description for everyone. It also might give us a hint. The Adventures of Sheep and Sheep. houses. Yeah, it's true. The Adventures of Sheep and Sheep is a vitreous casual game. In this game, players will play the role of a cute little sheep. Yeah, we're totally sheep. Who is lost in a mysterious world and needs to constantly try and make mistakes through their own efforts to find their way home. Needs to try to make mistakes, huh? Game maps are usually maze-like structures filled with various obstacles. Players need to guide the sheep through the maze and access different NPCs to obtain information. During the exploration process, players will encounter various interesting levels and scenes, each with unique scenes and NPCs. The scenes have unique scenes. Neat. To help the sheep find their way home, players need to walk down the maze reasonably. <laughs> reasonably. Sometimes it is necessary to jump or act in a specific order to pass levels. The game scenes are usually designed to be beautiful and charming, with immersive jungle background sounds. Yeah, very immersive. Uh, <laughs> that bring players an immersive game being experience. Players can challenge their desire to explore and discover more hidden content. Oh, really? Hidden content? The adventure of Sheep and Sheep Seeking the Way is suitable for players of all ages. It is It not only provides entertainment and leisurely experiences, but also exercises players' logical thinking and patience. By helping the sheep find their way home, players can feel a sense of achievement and satisfaction and enjoy the fun of exploration. Overall, this game combines cuteness and challenge, making it suitable for adventurous players. Follow the sheep on the journey of finding their way and present and ex uh, experience a pleasant jer gaming journey together. Yes, that the description went on and on with all of that. <laughs> if you're wondering, good. So many words, <laughs> so many words for what we have here. I Makes love how. Yeah. No, I, I love how like I, I went also to the page and more like this Stardew Valley project void. <laughs> oh, it's, it's suggested. It was suggesting that. <laughs> My, yeah, yeah, like yeah. More games like this, Stardew Valley, <laughs> basically is what it said, right? Stardew Valley and Project I'm Stone sure. Boy, yes. Yeah. Well, that's uh, perhaps not true. <laughs> well, all I can think of doing is looking around the forest a bit more to see if there is another exit point. Because it could just be ending like this, or they could have had the next exit just be somewhere really fucking hard to notice. Because <laughs> either is quite possible in this game. I mean... Yeah, you, yeah, I don't know. If you're wondering, I spent one dollar on this. <laughs> what? What is this? Why are there red lights here? I mean, I guess you could... You failed the puzzle. Like you, you failed the puzzle. <laughs> Oh, that's like the source, I see. You should have been able to tell based on the screenshots that the solution was not to give them a dollar. <laughs> no, definitely, they, they definitely didn't deserve a dollar for this, but I just wanted to fucking see what the hell. <laughs> I wanted to experience this with you guys. To give it... I knew it wasn't going to be a good experience, but, I mean... The shape dialogue is great, let's be fair. <laughs> I like that they very kindly. It was an experience. It was. It definitely was an experience. I'm going to check the left yeah. side of this area. I was going to recommend you to just use a cheat engine and just use the speed hack. <laughs> Actually, it might work with this game. I doubt it has any protection whatsoever. Let's try it. 
Okay, so <laughs> let's see if this works. Wait, is the process just named question mark, question mark, question mark? <laughs> yeah, probably because it's a Chinese name, so it doesn't know what... So the so street engine is not sure what the hell it is, but I, I think that's what this is, yeah. Yeah, it's the, it's, it's, it's the right one, yeah. Okay. Okay, um... Speed hack. Yep. What do I do to run the speed hack again? Just enable, and then... Yep, and... Yeah, select uh, speed and apply. Apply. See if it works. Uh, no, it doesn't seem to. Yeah, I don't think I don't think it's doing. I don't think it's doing anything. Fair enough. <laughs> it's broken. Sadly. <laughs> Sadly, it is not that simple. Close cheat engine. <laughs> <laughs> fair. I think this is a. I want to say a Unity game, but I'll actually hold that. Hold that thought. Pretty sure it's Unity based on certain things I'm noticing. Yeah, it's Unity. Oh, you know what? Actually, just realized something. If I go into its files, go into its data. Level zero, level one, level two, and level three. No, it's not. That's it. Level zero was the tile screen. Level one was the first level. Level two was the box hell. Level three is the forest. It's done. That's all. I just realized, like, oh, wait, Unity. Unity usually makes it very clear how many levels are in the game if you just look at the files. So, uh... <laughs> wow, I, I like you how they... acquired real estate. I like how they couldn't manage to even, like, be like, all right, you won, put you, you back to the title savvy screen. Sheep. They couldn't even put us back to the title screen. That's great. What an experience! Why you go back, you're home. I like. I think it takes longer to read the Steam store description than it takes to play the game. <laughs> they wrote a fucking novella for a game with no content. I love it. <laughs> I love it, honestly. Uh, yeah, you're forgetting about the the walking speed. That's their strategy. I mean, I guess it's a strategy. There might be you secrets. You could make the game by longer now. by adding more content. Or you could reduce the player's <laughs> speed a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess that was Adventures of Sheep and Sheep. Do you know the way or whatever the fuck the other subtitle was on this one? I don't remember. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it was bad. Bad but mildly interesting for little bits. But I can't even quit. This is an Alt F4 game, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> this is an Alt F4 regardless if you're on the title screen or not. But yeah. Let's see, what was, the, what was the subtitle for this one? That's it, yeah. The Adventure of Sheep and Sheep Seeking the Way. <laughs> because that's literally all the maps, and, and the sheep at the end just says, good job, you did it. So, <laughs> hooray, we did it. <laughs> that was Adventures of Sheep and Sheep. Where we were a goat, not even a sheep. Amazing. Simply well, amazing. You were a sheep, you just looked like a goat. <laughs> I guess so. Just like that Mongolian gazelle looked like a yeah. sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Disguises. Insanity. Amusing for a little bit. Not much to it, obviously. Probably not worth spending a single dime on, but hey, it's worth a bit of content, so why not? <laughs> that was cheap. But cheap. it might be worth spending two dimes. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs>